Hey everybody, YouTube. Today we're going to be doing a rehousing of my Brachypal Masala Pulsum. That is the Guatemalan Red Rump. And we're going to be doing my Brachypal Vagus, my Mexican Red Rump. We're going to be doing some rehousing. As you see, I got a moat out of it this last time. And it's got a good size now. I just wanted it in a you know, better enclosure now with um, a better enclosure now with it uh, having the ability to have its own actual hide. As you can see, it did dig a hole for itself um, underground. When I got a substrate like this that hasn't really been used up, I just tend to mix it back in a big tub that I have. You know, couldn't have really done much inside of it. I just like to remove all the substrate around it. In a way, it really has nowhere else to hide at. And it's safer for the tarantula than me just actually trying to just, you know, grab the tarantula, especially knowing it doesn't really want to go anywhere. As you can see now that it's here. And man, it has some size to it. Look at this. Some good size to it. I hate when people use tongs to touch the trench and here I am pogging it with it. See? There you go. There you go. Now that has this new enclosure. Let me get rid of this extra substrate. Get it up out of there. Take a pause so we can get the other one ready. Okay, we have my bracket palm my vagus. Same rules apply. Just get the substrate that's around it. Put some in here. In and around it's thin. Make sure that this don't fall off of me. Right there. Just get some of the substrate in and around it. That's a new enclosure. They got a lot of size on them during this moat. As you can see, they got a good size on it from what it was to it is now. Look at this. They're virtually really the same tarantula. I was kind of upset when I bought when I bought it, but I'm going to have every species there is anyway, so... There you go, successful rehousing of it. Let's get it in its hide. There you go. Now let's let that get used to that. Let's get some spring water in this enclosure. Like we do with every one of my tarantulas, always use 100% spring water. on this bad boy another successful rehouse gonna get this label put on it Mexican red rump, bracket palma vagus, and um, that's about it, I guess. 
Okay, so the rehousing is complete. Mexican red rump, Rocky Palma Vagus in its new enclosure. New enclosure for the Guatemalan red rump, the Brachypalma salopossum. Till next time. I figure you get a look at my Asian Colada, my Brazilian giant white knee, my Acanthoscoria Asian Colada. Just munching on mealworm. I figure I'll let you see that. Alright, I got a, got a treat for you. I'm going to try to feed my Lampropelma violosipes to see if it takes. It's down in this little enclosure thing down there. But um, I'm going to see if I can grab a good old mealworm out of my bucket of treats and see if it, uh, if it eats it. See if I can get it eaten before this camera dies because... I just want to show you my Dubia roaches and my rusty heads. I got them in a the community together. What I learned too is that when you put these crystals in there and they start to dry up, you can get some water and just spray them. And they'll, you know, bring them back to life. So I was going to feed my, um, Lampropelma violosipes, a uh, mealworm, but I decided to give it a uh, rusty head since that's what it ate last time I fed it. Um, and I got one that freshly molted too. No remorse whatsoever. Let's see if we can get us a gun smoke going on in this enclosure. And it molted not too long ago. You see that molting there? Yeah, my Singapore blue molted. I named this. Most of my tarantulas names end with baby or start with baby. And this one is baby blue. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop that in there. Let's see if it gets taken. Oh, gun smoke. <laughs> Gun smoke, uh, baby blue don't play them games. Yeah, so now we can end this video off on a good note.